person than us. by the flaming power of the 36-story Saturn V rocket into the vacuum of space. Wednesday, July 16th, 1969. I had 39A, Kennedy Space Center. At 9.32 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Apollo 11 spacecraft with astronauts Neil Armstrong, Edwin Orton, and Michael Collins aboard was to be lifted by the flaming power of the 36-story Saturn V rocket into the vacuum of space. It would begin a half-million-mile odyssey, a voyage which would include, for Armstrong and Aldrin, a day on another world. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. Hundreds of thousands of people were jammed the roads and beaches miles from the launch site, wanting to be witness to the dramatic first moments of the epic journey. Radio and television carried the event to hundreds of millions more throughout the world. My colleague, CBS News correspondent Reed Collins, described the final seconds of the fulfillment of man's lunar destiny.
two, one. We have ignition. We have tremendous flame out there. All engines, and we have liftoff. She's rising. She's yawing now to clear the tower. That slight yaw. Now the huge tail is passing the tower. She's lifting up. We have tower clear. We have tower clear. We're beginning to feel the first thunderous roar. I can see her rising now as she's going up straight into the roll program, which she should be completing. We should expect to hear from the astronauts as this bit of land is beginning to shake with the power of it. The power of it as it goes through a slight wisp of cloud.
are loud tripping with DJ Cody on KWWKDB. You are loud tripping with DJ Cody on KWWKDB. You are loud tripping with DJ Cody on KWWKDB.
We'll see the bright and hollow sky. We'll see the stars that shine so bright. The stars made for us tonight.
Tripping with DJ Cody on KWWKEB. 